With no information to work with, it's difficult to know where to begin the search. Danny spots a distressed boy wandering along the sand. Poor little kid just running on the back of the beach here. Looks like he's terrified. <laughs> Poor little thing. Making his way back this way, which is him. Well, the kid's just screaming out for his dad, but uh, he doesn't want me to get near him, so I just got to try and somehow talk to him and then find his dad. As a father himself, Terry knows what the boy's parents must feel. Mate, it's weird, it's the heaviest feeling when you lose your kid. It's heavy. It's unbelievable what goes through your head. Maxie waits at the ramp to stop the boy leaving the beach. So we're going to get see the bike here? Yeah. We're here to help you find your daddy, all right? Find your daddy. Do you want to come with me and we'll help you find your dad? Is that okay? Come on, mate. Got him, Maxie? Yeah. Eventually, the lifeguards win his trust. You all right, mate? Going to tag him for us. Yeah, I reckon we could come from that way, so let it go. Uh, back that jump way. Back, Maxie. come for a ride? The boy's name is Justin. Safe in Maxie's arms, the search is now on for Justin's dad. Yeah. Yeah, Justin can't describe his parents or remember where they were. All lifeguards can search for are parents in distress. Finally, a man reports his son is missing. Hey buddy, what was he actually wearing? Ninja Turtle bottom, Spider-Man top. Yeah, ATV, can you return to the tower with what found the lost father? Over. How's he losing, mate? He just wandered off. Yeah, just kept right. on going when I called him. He just he went for the blue board. Yeah, right. You gotta keep a better eye on those kids, mate. He just wandered, and I called him. He looked at me, and kept on going. And then when I grabbed the other one to go and get him, he's gone. He's in the crowd and lost. I should, I should look more terrified, but I'm not because he does it all the time. So I'm just I've got to be casual, otherwise he'll get upset. It doesn't even know what happened, do you? What happened? You get lost. Did you get lost? Yeah. Was that a bad thing? Yeah. And what should you do if you get lost? What do you do? Just go to the tower if you get lost. That's right, go to the tower, or who do you tell otherwise? The lifeguard. The lifeguard, that's right. Do you want to go shake the lifeguard's hand, please? Say thank you. Maxie hasn't just reunited a family, He's made some new friends. Hello, me. Hi. Among tens of thousands of beachgoers, Hoppo finds a little boy adrift on the beach. One, he's lost. He's lost his gear. Oh. So try and find his gear. Hey, mate, I saw you before. You should have said something before. Now we're trying to find his mum. Try and find his mum as well. Yeah, the decent shot. Nine-year-old Bob lives locally. His parents and belongings are nowhere to be found. You were around here. That's right, mate. It's not a leave without you. It's not a leave without you, mate. It's all right. It's all right, mate. I just saw your mum again, eh? Just give me the number and we'll have a go. Thankfully, Bob remembers his mother's number. I phone switched off. Because she was asleep. She was asleep? So you came down your own? Yeah. So your mum's at home? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> your client is switched off or not in coverage. Please try again later. Switched off. We're sort of stuck with him for a while. He might uh, become our little mascot for a little bit. and. Hopefully when the crowd goes a bit, we can uh, find his gear. All right, let's go. Back on the beach, Hoppo and his young apprentice face a considerable challenge. Bob's lost gear is somewhere among thousands of other towels and bags. Wait, I'm looking for this kid's gear. 
here as well. The parents are just as stuck. After going through thick and thin, the two amigos should be inseparable. Yeah, we ended. Back to Maxi. I've walked all around the beach for about an hour trying to help him. And as soon as he found his gear, he brushed me and he goes, I'm going back to Maxi, so I'll, I'll give it away. <laughs> After finally getting through to his mum, young Bob disappeared into the crowd and made his way back home. Okay. Yeah, can I help you find mummy and daddy? It'll be all right. Just we'll come in here and have a sit down. Yeah? She was like at the end of the pier. See where the mule painting is long here? She was long here. Yep. There was nobody, you can't see anybody looking for her at all. Okay. You yep. know what I mean? So this man will look after you Do now, okay? Us. Come inside. Yeah? And we'll, we'll go and look for mummy and daddy up that way for you as well, yeah? We'll help you find her. Yeah? <coughs> Come on. I didn't want to wander off that up. The little girl may not speak English or is too distraught to speak at all. Yeah, let's go in here and we'll see. What's your name? This is Megan. What's your name? What's your name? Jessica? <coughs> Jessica? Lisa? I'm just trying to get some names. Sarah? Oh. This could take some time. What's your name? <laughs> With no information to work with, it's difficult to know where to begin the search. Where was the last time you seen your mum? What's mum's name? And what's your name? Should we try and find mummy and daddy on the TV screen? The only place they could have been probably was the car park, because that's where she was wandering that's around by the stairs. Know. It's alright. It's alright. Troy and Maxie give her some old-fashioned TLC. Do you, want, do you want to have a look and see if you can see her? Have a look. Do you want a nice block? You got a nice block? <coughs> you got a nice block? No. Security vision doesn't reveal any familiar faces. That's your two old Bondi Alaska and uh, we've got a lost girl. Can't get any information ever. She's crying and so I'm interested. Just to her parents. Just step up here. Hey, Constable, uh, this is Maxie from the lifeguards. How are you? Good, mate. Mate, we just got a lost kid here. Just uh, wondering if um, anyone's come up there to look for her. But just as Bondi is being mobilised... Is that Mummy? Yeah? Yes. Tell Dad. Is that Mummy? Yeah. Come coming this way. Can we come out? Lifeguards discover five-year-old Beatrice is on holidays from New Caledonia with her family. As for how she got lost, Dad has a simple explanation. Oh, and how many kids have yeah. you got? Eight. Eight? Wow. Yeah.